Hey folks, it's been a while since I've done a long form video, so I'm a little out of practice. Um, but this is an update on the Iron Man armor. Comic Con is 10 days away. Everything is printed, everything is painted. I've just got to assemble it to button it up. Um, I've had some issues with painting. Let me just grab oh, a spice up here. So, when it comes to painting, you've got to mask off different areas, especially when you've got three different colours. And I've pulled off a lot of the paint. I don't know if I didn't leave it to dry long enough, or... I don't know, my masking skills aren't the best, but what I've gone in and done is, with a bit of a silver pen, just made it look like the paint has come off the armour. It's the Mark 43, so it's an old suit. So it's battle damage, it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, here's all the pieces. I'm just trying to assemble it. The one thing that's missing from here are the hands, the repulsors. So uh, let's go check them out. So here we have the repulsor, you have the right hand. I'm just gonna pop it on quickly. Ooh, I've basically 3D printed some fingers. 3D printed it. 3D printed the finger pieces and joined them all together with elastic. It's a bit fiddly, but it's on. It's on. This I'm currently trying to magnetize just here. And there's another one there to lock it in. But yeah, we're pretty much there with the repulsors. The fingers are a little big. I had to go to the 110% scale fingers I did previously because I can't fit a glove inside otherwise. Um, but that's been an issue with reaching the tips. But what are you going to do? My hands aren't going to function normally anyway. Um, and then we've just got this then, which is the, the light. And that's powered by a battery pack. Ready to go. So what I'm going to end up doing is just taping that in, in there. So now I'm just going to go and move on to the, the left hand. And uh, yeah, just montage you through it. Okay, so the next thing I need to sort out is the arc reactor. Now this has been battered just so it can fit in the suit properly. I'm not too confident the circuitry is going to hold up, so I'm going to try and keep it like that so it doesn't fail on the day. Um, so what I've done is I've got a notch here. I thought I had another one of these rings, I cannot find it. I've got literally a hundred of these, which I suppose I could use as a backup. Um, but yeah, I've just got to make sure that this fits nicely in here. And the wires don't go crazy because if you could look at my re-soldering, it's an absolute mess back there. So, yeah, I'll we'll try and fix that as well. So another bit then is getting the faceplate onto the actual helmet itself. What I've done is I've gone ahead and I have constructed the hinge mount up and I don't even want to call it, but yeah, that is on pretty tight. I've just got to sort out the, uh, the electronics, hopefully get it up and running. So that opens nicely and closes nicely. Uh, previously, the circuitry worked. Uh, once powered, it didn't really work to, to close. So, wish me luck. Okay, so we got the electronics somewhat ready to go. Um, I am having a few issues with the motors here, um, but I'll just, I'll just demonstrate where I'm at. So we got the Closing face plates and the LEDIs here. So I'm just going to plug this in. OK. 
Okay. We are on. Look at that. Can you hear that? It's making a noise. That should be closed. It's, it's kind of backwards. So on. They light up. Oh, something's going wrong there. Okay. I don't know what's going on there. Right back on. That's just very, very delicate. Oh. Okay, let's try. Push this down. Okay, let's try it the other way around. So, on. That should have opened. Should have closed. What if we try and switch these orange lines around? Just here. Orange. Jesus. Uh, and when I say orange, I mean the orange wire that goes from the the motor. So if you look here, three different colours. You've got a brown, red, and orange. Uh, Frankly Built did a great tutorial on how to wire up an Arduino uh, mask, an Arduino chip slash Ironman mask. Um, I followed it as best as I could. I'm just running into a couple of issues. So they've switched. And uh, let's try it. Oh, close. They didn't turn on though. Oh, there they go. That definitely closed, right? Let's try again. Nice, oh, something's not quite right with these arms. Oh, I don't have a lot of time left, so I'll either try and fix that, or I've got a backup set of LEDIs that I might just plug in instead, just just to save comp, just to save on time, um, and also putting all of this in there. And here it just looks and sounds uncomfortable. Okay, so additionally, we've got the the chest and the arc reactor all mounted up. I'm just going to plug her in using a power bank and hopefully it should work. There we go, look at that. And then what I've got then is some Velcro pieces with this should just sit on top. don't think the velcro is strong enough I might even put a little bit more or maybe just go in with just a couple of magnets just to be safe I don't want it to it's, uh, it's pretty pretty sturdy but yeah let's have a look at that straight on beautiful we've also made a lot of progress with the hands well the gauntlets so now we have the the hand guard, which has just been elasticated on there. So this should fit nicely. Look at that. So that's held in there with a couple of sponges, um, sticky foam sponges. A really good find, I highly recommend. So that's on there, little hand guard. And then I'm not sure if I've shown you previously, but I have added a magnet to this so it closes nicely so 
so we've got a bit of elastic there. There's the wrong hand. Okay, and then all we're gonna do is lock this off. Done. There we go. And then, like anything else, let's do a little test. There we go. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? So this needs to obviously thread through. I think I might just touch it there, thread that through. And I've also got to get a power bank in here. So yeah, here we go. That's the update. Everything is pretty much done. I've just got to get it bolted together.